so the top three things in Keith's macro notebook this morning are as follows. Uh, number one, the Nikkei. Number two, the Euro. Number three, the U.S. 10-year yield. Uh, starting off with the Nikkei, uh, up 0.3% overnight, taking its central plan ramp to plus 22% since October 17th. And now into the foreign exchange event in Europe tomorrow, the yen is signaling to us a media term trade oversold at 119.56. And also, not surprisingly, the Nikkei is signaling a media term trade overbought. So if there's a spot to play for a short term reversal, we think this is probably it. Second thing in Keith's macro notebooks, the euro. Uh, the euro, especially when you have uh, serial money torches running the show, you need a catalyst to do something like cover the ends. So why not a bounce off the of 123 euro spot, uh, euro US dollar line? How much drag he can do, do tomorrow versus what a lot of shorter-term U.S.-based investors think he think thinks he'll do uh, really remains a question in our minds. Third thing in Keith's macro notebook: U.S. 10-year yield uh, bounced to yet another lower high of two spot two nine percent into the ECB meeting tomorrow, and, and then also you know ahead of the jobs report on Friday. So if those two events uh, disappoint, um, we can see a 10-year yield of two spot one six percent of on the 10-year, uh, and, and we think it'll get there relatively fast. So, this, so <clears throat> currently, that's kind of what we've been set up for. Well, we've basically been set up for it all year, and we're still set up for it. Uh, long, long, the long bond in the U.S. remains one of our best macro ideas in 2014, uh, particularly as Italian 10 years break below 2% this morning. And those are the top three things in Keith's macro notebook.